Girvan now styles itself as the gateway to Ailsa Craig and there's Ailsa Craig over there in the Firth of Clyde. Interesting that you have a gateway to an island but I like coming here because there's my favourite little snack bar which does really good ice creams. Well today I'm driving from Girvan down to Bar Hill along this road which is very quiet while I've been filming this sign. Nobody's driven past. That viaduct carrying line from Girvan to Stranra seems to go through somebody's garden. Uh, quite amusing. And this is Bar Hill Village, which has suddenly got a little bit busy. There's a couple of cars moving around. There's the Bowling Green. And you can see we're still 17 miles from Newton Stewart. And where's the station? Well, the station is up uh, this road here. station has a car park and there's a private level crossing which goes to a farm and there's a bus shelter for the odd bus. because there isn't a train for Air or Kilmarnock for another two hours so I'll uh, show some pictures of the station no ticket office you have to buy a ticket from the conductor on the train there is a train to Stranraer in half an hour and I do love the signal box at this station very attractive station and the beautiful viaduct at Glenluce, near to Glenluce Abbey. And before Glenluce was bypassed, this was the A75, the main road between Stranra, Dumfries and Carlisle. So you would go under the viaduct on that loop, and then there would be this bridge over the river, and then there would be another arch over the bendy former A75 route. And here we are, coming back along the road to the main arch over the river. Beautiful. And here we are on top of the Glenluce viaduct, but not actually on the viaduct deck because like a lot of disused railway viaducts these days it's fenced off for safety reasons to stop you killing yourself or whatever. And that actually gives a good shot of the uh, bends on the A75, which passes under the viaduct twice. There we are, another view. The site of Glenluce Station. Not a bad view, actually. That's Luce Bay. And the other side. There's the bridge parapet, but there's not much to see unless you're a botanist. Kirkowen, the old station.
This is the platform for Stranraer, and that's the platform for Dumfries. Looking towards Stranraer, and I think it must be close to milking time, I don't know. The Cairnsmore Viaduct, near Palnure. with a gap and these two arches have been left as a garage or something I think interesting let's go around the other side see what we can see yes I'm around the other side now and the two arches seem to have been left as lock-up garages another view of the Cairnsmore viaduct and you can see in the background the two um, garages or garden sheds and um, there are three sections to the viaduct, none of which is connected to the other. But if you go this way... The old railway line is part of the National Cycle Route 7. So you can come along here. Gatehouse of Fleet Station, where I am now, as you can see, was six miles from the village. And the village was uh, not that way. That's where the station is, just there. And the village is down that way, through the Galloway Hills. So I don't know how busy the station was when it was open, but I would think not very. And this viaduct is not fenced off. There is a fence but there's an opening in it so you can walk along the viaduct. And there's some of the views. And there's another view. And there's some miles. A man walking his dog, I think. The deck. Still got a good supply of ballast on it. <laughs> Midges everywhere. over the railway at the former New Galloway station which was actually in Mossdale, not in New Galloway and if we go over across the road is the train station you can see a bit of the platform there on the left and the station house which is now a private residence and the remains of the up platform, I guess, at New Galloway. It seemed to be an island because it has two faces. Maybe it was a good spay. And there was a platform on the other side, which is 
lost to the undergrowth. And in the background, I think you can just about make out the bridge taking the road from New Galloway to Castle Douglas. Loch Ken. There's the railway just coming from New Galloway Station. And in the other direction, the railway passes over this beautiful bridge which is private property. I'm not going to um, go past the sign. And here's the Loch Ken Bridge from the east side of Loch Ken, just off the main A713, Castle Douglas to New Galloway and Eyre Road. And let's pan round and have a look at Loch Ken. It's really beautiful. There you are. And back to the bridge. There's a caravan park here which may explain the extra security, the barbed wire and all that, to stop uh, caravanners crossing the bridge for their evening stroll. The wooden decking of the bridge doesn't look too safe. They probably don't want to be sued by anybody who falls through into the river. And there we are, just poking my lens through the iron gate for a better view. A nice little accommodation bridge over the railway, which now takes us to... Um, Modern day farming. Farmers now grow tents because they make more money than uh, growing crops. Parton Station.